my god. Can you see this? Like, this is giving me Mardi Gras vibes. But I'm not mad at it, though. Hey y'all, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Coriel from TheLuxMinimalist.com and I make luxury beauty videos. So in today's video, I am sharing the Pat McGrath Divine Rose 2 palette. I'm so excited to be trying this palette out with you guys and giving you my thoughts. Um, so first I am going to just give you an overview of the palette show you some swatches and then I'll show you how I got this makeup look and then I'll give you my final thoughts at the end of the video. So the palette comes in this box and it is beautiful just like all of her other palettes. This is actually my first eyeshadow palette from Pat McGrath but I'm sure it will not be my last. I am obsessed with this artwork and I'm also obsessed with the packaging of this palette. It has my fingerprints all over it because I have been playing in it to create this eye look. But the palette retails for $125. I know that that seems like a lot. And I mean, it kind of is, but the product is worth it um and you know on this channel we talk about quality over quantity and we like to invest our money and not throw it away so comes in this beautiful black case and you can pick this palette up at sephora um in store and online patmagrat.com also believe selfridges carries this palette it's like 127 on selfridges and you will have to pay I think for international shipping because it is not in the US but that's another option if it's sold out in other places but I think it's still in stock as of now so this is what the palette looks like it is so beautiful these beautiful rose and gold shades um, of course I'll show some close-ups of this palette but yeah this is what it is looking like and it has 10 shades so it has two mattes three shimmers two glitters um two metallics and one satin and one of the um shades is a trio chrome not a dual chrome a trio chrome uh, and i have that one on my eyes right now if you see like a lot of shifts in the colors that are on my eyes um, but yeah, I am so excited to have this palette and I'm going to go ahead and show you some swatches on my arm and then I'll show you me applying the shadows. Okay guys, I'm going to go ahead and swatch the shadows. So I'm going to do the top row first from left to right and then the bottom row. Okay, so the first shade is going to be Skin Show Rose Opal Naked Blush. It's beautiful, oh my god. Eleganza. <laughs> Do you guys see that? Wow. Bronze Rose 005. Wow. Gold Lust 001. Extreme Burgundy. Divine Dusk. It's really pretty. Rose Seduction. Wow. Sextra Terrestrial. Look at that. Wow. It's Astral Pink Moon. Well, that's all 10 shades. They're so beautiful. Okay, y'all. I am hoping that I'm in focus. Um, I'm just going to show you how I do the look that is in the intro part of this video. So. Let's just go ahead and get started. Um, this this palette is so beautiful. I'm so excited to play with it. So uh, yeah, I'm just going <laughs> to dive in. And I already put my primer on. So I am using the Makeup Forever um, Step 1 Skin Equalizer Eye and Lip Primer. It's supposed to help uh, eyeshadow stay on for 24 hours I wouldn't know because I don't <laughs> I don't plan on using this uh, eyeshadow or wearing this eyeshadow for 24 hours but anyway I'm aiming towards like these four shades 
but I kind of want to do something with that pink too. Uh, okay, let's just start. I'm not like a professional, so I'm just going to play around with these and see how they work. Let's start with the crease shade. So I am taking, what is this, Naked Blush. I'm just going to use that. Oh my God, it's so pigmented. I'm just going to work that into my crease. Oh, it's really pretty. Like, as soon as I dip my brush in, the shadow is going everywhere because it's so, it's so pigmented. Just going to do that on this side, too. Um, so I've been playing around with eyeshadows a little bit more. I normally just do one shade all over. I've been watching a few videos and trying to figure it out because I love eyeshadow. Like, it's so fun to play with. I just love watching them. And I want to learn how to put them on my eye, too. I just don't want to buy them and swatch them and let them sit. So, oh, this is nice. So, yeah, I've been trying to play around with eyeshadows a little bit more. I'm using a fixed lens, so I'll zoom in afterwards um, to show you a close-up. But so far, these are really pigmented, really smooth. I wish there was like one neutral matte shade, but I'm using this naked blush as if it was a neutral. I'm going to use... Mm, bronze row 005 on my on my um outer corner I might use this NARS mini eyeshadow brush it's the number three brush it's a really nice bronze topper shade and I'm just patting that on Let me try it with my fingers oh yeah this these glitter and shimmer shades seem to work better with fingers oh that's nice Oh, I love this shade, especially over the pink, the naked blush. Now, right um, at the beginning, like, not the inner crease, but um, right after that, I am going to use, I think I'm going to try um, VR Sextra Terrestrial, which is this pretty duo chrome pink well it's a trio chrome actually pink and um green shade i'm gonna take a clean finger oh these are like butter oh my god can you see this oh my god wow I'm just dabbing that in to meet with the bronze color and this color. Oh, <laughs> this color is everything. I've never seen something like this. It's like a little bit pink, a little bit green. And I want to say, like, there's, like, this orangey color in there, too. Oh, my goodness. This looks so good. And I like that I can use my fingers with this. It just makes it so much easier because I'm not a pro at blending. Oh. Do you see... 
look at that color. I am shook. Like, these are the kind of shades I love. The ones that make me look like I know what I'm doing. <gasps> okay. Now I'm going to try to get some of this astral pink moon. Um, this one here in my inner corner. Pretty cool. So far, I'm loving, loving this. Okay, I'm gonna use my fingers to try to get in the inner corner because it really didn't work with the blush. I mean, with the brush. Oh, that's so pretty. I need to do something on this so lash line, I guess. <laughs> I'm going to use Extreme Burgundy. I'm like freaked out by this trio chrome. I kind of want to take a little bit of that burgundy in the crease too to smoke it out just a little bit. I am living for this um, sextra terrestrial, like I really am. It's a little bit out of the box for me, but I love it. I love how it looks. I'm just putting a little bit, this is reminding me of Mardi Gras, I'm not even gonna lie, with this like yellow, gold, and I mean this, this gold, Purple and green. Like, this is giving me Mardi Gras vibes. But I'm not mad at it, though. The next time I use Sextra Terrestrial, I might use it on its own. Because it is a look on its own. Now, with this gold, it really is giving me Mardi Gras vibes. But, that's okay. Um, I'm going to throw on some mascara. And I'll be back to share my final thoughts. Okay, I zoomed you guys in so you can see this eye look, um, but I am obsessed with these shadows. Like, I love them. Yeah, guys, but overall, I love this palette. It's just so beautiful. I love the shade combo that she put in this. Um, these shades are just so beautiful, so pigmented, so buttery. Like, this is amazing. And that sextral terrestrial shade is amazing. Um, also, I love astral pink moon. This really sheer pink shade here, I love that. It's more like a topper, um, but I can see that like throwing that on every eyeshadow that I put on from here on out. I really do think that the Pat McGrath Divine Rose is, or Divine Rose 2 is worth the money. I know she also re-released the Divine Rose 1, um, but I really like really gold tones, so that's why I went with the second um release and or the second version of the divine rose and i'm really happy with my decision i feel like i'm really going to get a lot of use out of this palette and just play around with these so much like i just can't wait i'm so excited um there's not a shade in this palette that I don't like. That's another reason why I bought it because a lot of eyeshadow palettes, I'll buy them if like majority of the shades appeal to me. But for this one, I love every 
single shade in this palette i love the packaging it's so heavy you can tell that it's luxury quality which also contributes to the high price tag i really do think that it's a beautiful palette and this is the back it has this gold plate on the back um it has a really big mirror it's just it's just the perfect palette um i don't know if i have a con for this so far i'm just really loving it i mean all of the shades swatch beautifully um they look great on the eye the ones that i have used um you can use a lot of these with your fingers which is a really big pro for me because like i said i'm not a pro at makeup or especially eyeshadows um i just do what works for me and what feels good to me so i'm not a professional i'm just a really big makeup enthusiast especially luxury makeup so i really enjoy playing with these and like i said i love that you can use your fingers um because i have like a few eyeshadow brushes but like a lot of these didn't really pick up the glitter so if you're someone who doesn't like using their fingers maybe you might not like this palette i personally love using my fingers and it makes the glitters really pop and stand out and you can really pack them on um, as opposed to using a brush so if that's something that you don't like then maybe you might not like the glitters in this palette but i am so impressed like i'm blown away by the quality of these shadows and when a shadow is high quality i feel like it's so much easier to use so you don't have to be um, a makeup pro to use high quality shadows they just blend out easily and they look natural and i mean eyeshadow can't look natural especially these colors but basically they look seamless on your eye and i am so obsessed with this palette and i cannot wait to play around with it even more it has all of my favorite shades like i said i am a gold and bronze girl and these these two on the end are like my go-to shades and now this pink topper i wasn't a pink girl at first when it comes to makeup but or eyeshadow but I think I'm going to be wearing that a lot and even this deep purple was really really easy to blend so like I said I'm going to get a lot of wear out of this and this pal I mean this collection the divine rose 2 collection also came with a few um, lip glosses and maybe a lip pencil so I'm thinking about picking those up too because I really love a good lip gloss and those look really really pretty swatched online and i've heard very good things about her lip colors so yeah i am looking forward to just diving more into the world of pat mcgrath labs and i will definitely be showing you everything that i pick up from the brand um, as i grow my collection so stay tuned for that if you like this video please give it a big thumbs up i'm trying to grow on youtube so i'll be coming back with lots more videos and i'm sorry if it's awkward at first but when i get into it i can <laughs> i'm better at it so i'm just a little rusty right now but yeah i am excited to be back on youtube i hope you like the camera quality i got a different lens um, that I've been using for the last few videos and it looks really crisp so I'm excited about that and yeah let me know what you thought about this video what you thought about this collection are you picking anything up um if so what you're picking up if you've already picked it up what do you think about the palette and yeah subscribe for more videos like this like I said I'll be doing a lot more luxury beauty reviews and roundups so hit subscribe and hit that notification bell to know when i upload the next video um until then i will see you guys in the next one bye y'all